Minimum locks are used to step out functionality with mock data. So for example, you have some module that access some database or website. You probably don't want to do that on your testing. So this basically replaces this behavior with some, some mock stuff. So we define minimum locks inside a mocks folder that is adjacent to the module. So let's create this example. Actually, it's not users, it's user. Actually, let me comment this one first and see what happens. One test fails because now it's using the real user, not the mock user. So let me uncomment this module and see what happens. Okay, it still doesn't work because as the documentation says I must specify that I want to mock this module. So I'll go back to my test. Oops, user test. Okay, now it works. It's using the mock user. So even if this user module have some complex stuff here, I can replace for a mock version inside this, this folder. We can also mock node modules uh, and to mock those, we will have to create a mock folder adjacent to the node modules. And the example, it's talking about Lodash, and I'll use Lodash. I think it's a good, it's a good example. So let me install Lodash. Let's run without the mock. So the mock folder is empty, and I'll create another folder, Lodash. We use this repeat. So this function, it, it when you pass some string and the number, it will repeat the string the the number of times you, you specify. So I'll expect.
Okay, it works. Uh, the the result of this repeat will be a a a. So well, now let's mock this this functionality. I'll just return BBB and let's test it. And as you can see, the test received BBB. And you can notice that here on our lodash test, we didn't specify to mock the lodash. When you set mocks like this, it is automatically mocked the node module. I think we can unmock this. Let me. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and it works. Uh, you can force to unmock the, the model if you really want to do so. So I'll just make sure my test passes, even with the mock. So here's a warning that says that if you want to mock some Node.js core modules like file system or path, then we have to explicitly call the JS mock for, for that model for path, for example. We will have some example that uses this, so I won't I won't create a my example right now. I'll, I'll show you on, on the further examples. We can set a flag out of mock. That way we don't even have to, to specify the mock for our users models. So, uh, okay, so here we have the, the mock for the user, but let me comment this and see what happens. You can see it has fails, it's using the real user, but on the config, yes, if I set this flag to true, out of mock, the user models will be mocked by default, but I'll leave it as false. Before I copy this example, let me show you the gen mock from module and the require actual for our current test. And then after I finish this, I will go and, and, and copy and run this example. So we have the lodash, uh, we have the lodash only returning the repeat B. But if I go to lodash test, let's create another test. I try to run the test, it will break because the mock that I've created doesn't have a uppercase inside of it. So, okay, uppercase is not a function. Okay, first we can generate a mock from module. So, let me copy this. Okay, this test is still fails, but at least I receive undefined. So this method gets all the functions of the lodash and changes that for for a, a mock, a mock, a just mock. So this functions it won't break the if I call this function, it won't break, but but it will receive undefined because that's the default behavior for mocks. And if I really want to to return the real lodash and only change the repeat i can use this other syntax require actual so let me comment this
and in that case I will only replace the repeat function and the other other functions will remain with the lodash behavior now let's copy and run this example Okay, let's run it, see what happens. Okay, it passes, so let me explain this example. Let's start with the file summarizer. Uh, so, it basically summarizes the files in a direct directory uh, in a sync way. So, we call the file system that's, a, that's from, from Node, this module and we read the directory that's passed and we map the files uh, with uh, the directory and file names and we return it. Uh, so, so the mock generate mock from models so all the, the functions inside file, the file system will, will return undefined at this point and then here we are creating a Test utility function. So this set mock files it doesn't exist on the file system, but we are created creating it anyway. And and this function we have the the mock files, the list of mock files. So we pass a list of files for this function, and it gets the directory name from from this file. And if this directory doesn't exist. It creates a, an empty array and just just pushes pushes the base name of the file inside this directory, and that's our our mock object. So here, when it calls the read sync, which is a it which is exists on the file system on the real file system module, it will just return this those mock files, and then here it is exporting the set mock files and and also setting the read sync. So let's go back to our task. So because the file system is a module that that's from Node.js, we must specify the mock for it. And here we are we are mounting a file list with the content. Before each test, we are setting this this mock file info. And inside this test, we are just passing the path to, and we we just expect the the file summary to be two, and and that's because we're spe specifying two files here. Here it's saying that the JS mock is hoist automatically on the top of the model, so it will. Even if we write the jazz.mock here and we have some imports oops, we imports on top of it, uh, jazz will get this mock and place. So even if we have it, it like this, jazz internally will go and, and move it here again to run before the, the imports are, are made. Here it's saying if we are, you are using the JS on the JS DOM environment, and if you try to use the window match media and JS doesn't know about it, it you will get an error. So here we are basically mocking or adding this mock implementation to the window match media. So let's let's do this test and let's create a new folder match 
media K1 test fail uh, import. Okay. You have to require. Okay, still failing because window is not defined. And that's because we are using the node, the node environment for Jest, and I can change this here so no G L node 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 okay so the task environment is using node but we want to use the JavaScript DOM which will have a window object and let's see what happens Okay, we have we have the window, we have the match media, but we don't have that listener. Let me see. If I probably did something wrong here. Uh, add list listener. So this is a mock function. Oh yeah, this is a function. So we, I I must call this function. And yeah, it works.